In the last presentation, we started our discussion on expressions in Python. We have understood what are expressions in Python and we have seen some types of expressions as well. We have understood what is an integral expression, what is a constant expression, what is an arithmetic expression and what is a floating point expression. Now in this presentation, we will continue our discussion on expressions in Python. This is part 2 of expressions in Python. In this presentation, we will understand few more types of expressions. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is relational expressions. The second topic is logical expressions. The third topic is bitwise expressions. The fourth topic is combinational expressions. The fifth topic and the last topic is precedence of operators. We will understand these topics one by one. Let's start from the first topic that is relational expressions. So what are relational expressions? Relational expressions are also called Boolean expressions. As they are Boolean expressions, they will always return a Boolean value. So this is the second point that is relational expressions always return a Boolean value. We need to understand this that relational expressions always have relational operators and in place of single valued operands, we can have arithmetic expressions. So it is not mandatory that we will always have single valued operands like 10, 20, 5 or anything like that. So, in place of single valued operands, we can have arithmetic expressions or any other type of expressions. Now, let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's open our command prompt and activate the Python interactive shell. Now, let's type 10 plus 13 less than or equal to 2 plus 3. In place of single valued operands, we now have expressions. We have 10 plus 13 and 2 plus 3. These two are arithmetic expressions. And here in between these two arithmetic expressions, we have a relational operator less than or equal to. In place of this relational operator, we can have any relational operator. We can have greater than or equal to. We can have less than. We can have greater than. We can have double equal to. We can have not equal to. We can use any relational operator here. Eventually, we know that this is a relational expression because we have a relational operator. So now our job is to determine the output of this line. 10 plus 13 is 23 and 2 plus 3 is 5. We need to now compare 23 and 5. Is it the case that 23 is less than or equal to 5? We know that 23 is neither less than 5 nor it is equal to 5. Hence, if we hit enter, we will get false as a result. We are getting a Boolean value, false. So we know that this is a Boolean expression. And we also know that this is a special type of Boolean expression, also known as relational expression. Because we have a relational operator here. Now, as we have understood what are relational expressions, let's move on to the next topic, that is logical expressions. So what are logical expressions? Logical expressions are expressions which consists of relational expressions connected using logical operators. So a logical expression must have a logical operator and they can connect relational expressions. So it is not mandatory to always have relational expressions. We can have single valued operands as well. But mostly we will observe relational expressions in a logical expression. Also, it always returns a Boolean value. So, logical expression always returns a Boolean value. Now, let's consider one example. This time, let's type 10 less than 13 and 1 equal to 1. These two are relational expressions because in these two expressions, we have relational operators less than and equal to. This is equality operator, double equal. So, 10 plus 13 and 1 equal to 1 are relational expressions and they are connected using this logical operator AND. So, this entire expression is a logical expression. We need to ask this question 
is 10 less than 13 and 1 equal to 1? If 10 is less than 13 and 1 is equal to 1, then we will get true as a result. These two conditions must be satisfied. Then only we will get true as a result, otherwise we will get false. 10 is less than 13 and 1 is also equal to 1. Therefore, if we hit enter, we will get true as a result. I hope logical expressions are also clear. As we have understood logical expressions, let's move on to the next topic that is bitwise expressions. So, what are bitwise expressions? Bitwise expressions always contains bitwise operators. So, they have bitwise operators. This is one thing. Secondly, the computations are always performed at bit level because bitwise operators can only work with bits. Hence, the computations must be performed at bit level. Now, we will understand how bitwise expressions look like and how we can evaluate them. For this, we again need to open our command prompt and let's type 10 left shift 2. Here we have left shift operator, which is a bitwise operator and the operands are 10 and 2. We need to perform left shift on 10 by 2. We already know the trick to solve these type of expressions. We know that when we have left shift operator, we need to multiply the left operand by 2 to the power the right operand. So, here we need to multiply 10 by 2 to the power 2. So, we will get 40 as a result because 2 to the power 2 is 4 and 4 multiplied by 10 is equal to 40. So, if we hit enter, we will get 40 as a result. Let's move on to the next topic that is combinational expressions. So, what are combinational expressions? Combinational expressions consists of different types of expressions. So, it is a combination of different expressions. Now, what do I mean by this? For this, we need to consider one simple example. Let's open our command prompt and type x equal to 10. Now, let's hit enter and type y equal to 20. Again, let's hit enter and type z equal to y plus x left shift 1 minus x into 3. This entire expression has a lot of operators. We have assignment operator, we have these arithmetic operators, plus, minus and multiply. We have left shift operator as well. So, in this expression, we have different types of operators and hence, this is a combinational expression because a combinational expression is simply a combination of different types of expressions. Here we have bitwise expression because we have a bitwise operator in between these two operands. Here we have an arithmetic expression because here we have multiplication operator between these two operands. So, we know that this expression is a combinational expression. Now, if we hit enter and type z and again if we hit enter, we will get some value. We will get some value because z must point to some value which is the result of y plus x left shift 1 minus x into 3. Now, what is that value? Try to determine the output of this program. Solve this on your own first and then we will understand together how to solve these type of expressions. So, pause the video for a while and try this on your own. I hope you are done. Let's understand how to solve these type of expressions. For this, we need to understand the precedence of all operators we have understood so far. So, let's move on to the next topic which is precedence of operators. We have not yet completed combinational expressions because our example is incomplete. We now first need to understand the precedence of operators in order to solve the expression we have seen just now. So, let's understand the precedence of different operators. These are all the operators we have in Python. This is quite an exhaustive list. Let's start from the first type of operators. These are brackets and we know that brackets have the highest priority among all the operators. They always have the highest priority. So, whenever we see brackets in our expressions, we need to solve them first. After this, the power operator comes. 
so the power operator has the second highest priority then comes unary plus and unary minus then we have multiplication division flow division and modulus then we have binary plus and binary minus then after this we have left shift operator and right shift operator these two operators have the same precedence but they have less precedence than these operators then after this we have bitwise and bitwise xor and bitwise or operators then we have these relational operators greater than equal to less than equal to greater than less than and then we have not equal to and double equal to which is the equality operator after this we have membership operators is is not in not in then we have these logical operators not and or finally we have assignment operators which have the lowest precedence among all the operators now we are ready to solve the expression we have z equal to y plus x left shift 1 minus x into 3 one thing is clear that assignment operation must be performed last so after evaluating this expression then only we must perform the assignment operation so first we need to solve this expression y plus x left shift 1 minus x into 3 here we have parentheses and within parentheses we have x left shift 1 Usually the left shift operator has less precedence compared to binary plus binary minus and multiplication operator but here x left shift 1 is written within parentheses therefore the priority of this operation will be the highest hence we need to perform x left shift 1 first before performing any other operation we need to replace x by 10 and 10 left shift 1 gives us 20 because we know that in case of left shift operation the left operand is always multiplied by 2 to the power the right operand in this case the right operand is 1 therefore we'll get 2 to the power 1 we need to multiply x by 2 to the power 1 this means we need to multiply x by 2 x is equal to 10 therefore we need to multiply 10 by 2 will get 20 as a result so eventually x left shift 1 will be replaced by 20 now we are left with this expression y plus 20 minus x into 3 we know that multiplication operator has greater precedence compared to plus and minus operators therefore we first have to perform the multiplication of x and 3 what is x x is 10 10 into 3 is 30 so eventually we will get 30 here now we are left with this expression y plus 20 minus 30 now what is y y is 20 so the expression is 20 plus 20 minus 30 plus and minus have same precedence therefore we can go from left to right so we can add 20 and 20 first 20 plus 20 is 40 and 40 minus 30 is 10 so we now know that z is pointing to value 10 so if we type z and if we hit enter we will get 10 as a result i hope this concept is completely clear this is all we need to understand about combinational expressions so now we know with precedence of different operators how to solve these complicated looking expressions This means we are done with all the topics of this presentation. We have understood what are relational expressions. We have learned logical expressions, bitwise expressions, combinational expressions, and we have understood the precedence of all operators we have in Python. So that is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.